I think we need to also be clear that unless we have a platform which is different from what this government is doing, if we think that by itself their bad policies will defeat them, that is not going to happen. They have a specific agenda which we all have discussed for two days, which includes a very uh, right-wing neoliberal economic policies as well. We need to have policies which are different, which are alternatives, which make it possible for us to talk about a people-centric development. And this is something that we'll have to craft. Without an alternative set of policies, you are not going to provide, you are not going to defeat this government. And I would say the issue here is not of corruption alone. Yes, that's a part of a deeper problem of inequalities which are spreading, which have been sharpening over the last 25, 30 years and certainly over the last 15 years. And we can have enough statistics about what's happening on that, including what was discussed yesterday about the Gini coefficient of equality. The second thing I would like to say is that, yes, we need to build much larger unity than what we have today because the attack is not just political or it's political parties. The attack is in our society in general. So we need to build various levels of resistance, not just the resistance of political parties alone. And third, I would conclude with saying that yes, we need to build really struggles in the country because without struggles, we are not going to be able to defeat the, what we have seen already set in place because what they're doing is splintering the unity of the people across board. And that unity can only be rebuilt by bringing people on the ground on struggles which are real, which all of our friends have talked about. I think on this note, we'll have to conclude this two-day sessions. We have had a very interesting set of discussions.